Don't you hate trying to schedule a meeting by email? Well, if you use Calendly, you already know how technology can solve this problem. Today, we're going to look at a new feature just released. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Yes, the dreaded scheduling meetings. Here's the typical exchange between two colleagues, Jed and Ned, over email. Jed emails, let's get together. How's Monday at 10 for you? Ned replies, nope, can't do that. How's Tuesday at 2? Jed, sorry, can't do that. How about Wednesday at 8 or 2? Ned replies, wow, neither of those are good. You know, it's like playing a game of battleship by email. Each person is trying to hit a calendar you can't see. Finally, you unload the heavy artillery. I've got Monday at 9, 10, 30, and 2, Tuesday at 10, all the way to 2, and on Wednesday, I'm free from 8 to 10. Well, three days later, when the other person finally replies, the one time slot he picked has already been gobbled up by something else. And so it goes back and forth, back and forth. There's some great tools to put a stop to email battleship and allow you to take control of your calendar. In the body of the blog post, I have a video that demonstrates Calendly. Today's focus, however, is not about having one person pick a time from your availability that works for them. It's about scheduling a meeting where multiple people are trying to find a time when everyone is free. Well, for years, a service called Doodle has been the go-to service for this type of thing. But now you can do it right from inside Calendly. So if you're already a Calendly user, this is a great addition. Let's take a look at how it works. First of all, I just went through an example on my own and took screenshots along the way. And that's what I'm going to be presenting to you. So here we go. First, we go to Calendly.com and click on My Account. Next, in the upper right corner, click the Create button. Next, we're going to choose Meeting Poll that you see over in the right. Right now, it's in beta. Later on, it will be out of beta. What appears is a replica of your own calendar. Now, I've scrolled ahead to a future month where I just simply don't have anything for this particular week uh, as a demonstration, but you'll see all of the events that you have scheduled. Scroll to the week that you're interested in, and now start clicking on the times that you would like to offer as possible meeting times. You can select up to 20. Click Next. On the next screen, you're going to fill in the name of the meeting. You'll also fill in the location. Now, the location, it can be in person. It can be a Zoom meeting. You'll see from that drop down your different possibilities. And here you see some of them right here. You can even add notes and links. Very important. You can choose to have Calendly hold all of your selections. Calendly will not show any of those times as available to others who are trying to book one-on-one -on -one meetings with you until this meeting has been scheduled. When you're done, click Publish Meeting Poll. Now you have a link for your meeting. Click the button to copy that link. Now you can send that link to anyone that you want to have in the meeting. Compose the email and paste the link. Send it to everyone who should be attending. When an invitee clicks the link, here's what they see. They select all time slots that work and click Next. Then they'll enter their information and choose Share Times. As the host, you receive this automated message. As each person submits their availability, the host receives an email it includes the name of the most recent voter. For each possible time, the host also sees how many votes have been submitted for each time and who has voted for each of those times. At the bottom of the screen, click on View Meeting Poll Details in Calendly. Find your event and click on Details on the right-hand side of the screen. You will see the vote totals and who responded. 
you can click to see votes for all times, even those that got one vote or no votes at all. When you're ready to choose the meeting date and time, simply click on book meeting time. You'll see a list of everyone who voted in the poll, and you can compare this list to whatever list you had of all your invitees. These people will receive an email when you click book meeting. If there's someone that you don't want to receive the invitation, then simply remove them here. Sometimes you can't find a time that all invitees can attend. In this example, uh, we've booked the meeting for February 1st at 12 noon, and Major Payne did not select noon on February 1st as a possible time. I also sent an invitation to attend a meeting to one additional person who did not respond. They do not appear on the list. As the host, the meeting automatically goes on my calendar. Clicking on the meeting displays the Zoom link generated. As the host, the meeting goes on my calendar automatically, and clicking on the meeting displays the Zoom link that was automatically generated for me and all of the invitees. Each invitee receives a meeting invitation. What about someone who didn't vote, but tries to after the meeting has been set? Well, they get this screen, they're not able to vote. Scheduling group meetings just got easier. The best thing to do is pull up your own Calendly account and work through this video again as you create a sample meeting. That way you're learning by doing. If you're brand new to the world of auto schedulers, create a free account at Calendly.com. In the body of the blog post, I give you a link to an excellent video done by Scott Friesen. Stop playing email battleship and let automation handle your calendar. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and take a look at these two videos right over here and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.